What's going on guys, welcome to Sonic Sounds and today we are gonna learn how to make Me Gusta by Anita and Cardi B in Studio 1.5. You're gonna be like, hold up, you usually use Logic Pro, what just happened? Well, Studio 1.5 was on sale as a cross-grade offer. I decided to take advantage of this. I was playing around and I got to producing and I ended up producing a full-fledged song in Studio 1.5. Now, it's very similar to any other DAW that you would use. Some of the features that I like about Studio 1.5 is just ease of being able to copy things like plugins right over to other channel without holding any buttons, being able to search for samples and plugins, and not have to go through those crazy menus in Logic Pro. So without any wait, let's jump into the session. All right, so let's jump into the production. As you can see that I have quite a few different layers. We're gonna play the song, I'll get to the hook, and then we'll break down the production of the song. So let's hit play. Production of the song begins with this particular marching drum kind of a sound and I took a bunch of cashmere samples as well as some vengeance loops and put them across this drum sampler that's built into Studio 1.5. So let's listen to this. Now that by itself didn't sound that beefy and I wanted to add a different layer so again I did the same thing where I brought in some more samples from the cashmere pack and played them over with the same repeating pattern. Let's see what that sounds like. Now when you play both of those together they sound something like this. Now if you look at the original song, right at the beginning of the downbeat as well as later on in the song, you have this bass drop and I brought this sample in and I basically placed it where I wanted it. And when you play all three of those together, it sounds like this. Now one of the most central parts of the song was the guitars. Now it says vocals, but these are actually guitar parts. I recorded literally just the strums, repeated them, and I panned them to the right and left. You can see here the pan is going to the left and to the right. So let's see what that sounds like. Now that repeats throughout the whole track and all of that is going to a bus. So let's see what that bus is doing. And here I'm using the built-in fat channel that's part of Studio One. Now this combines an EQ, compressor, equalizer, and a limiter. And on top of that, I am also doing some EQ from Pro Q3. Fat filter, I'm cleaning up some frequencies. You can see that I'm doing a lot of control using this preset called Guitar Behind, and this is a multi-band control of the sound that's going on. I added a room reverb. Now, this is a preset that's in Studio 1.5, and I just tweaked around the mix a little bit. I did not send that to a bus, and I had to change the gain a little bit, so I used a gain plugin towards the end. Now, the next part of this track was a Nexus lead. So let's see what that sounds like by itself. Now that pretty much follows the chords. It's a preset in Nexus. Let's pull up the preset and the preset is from this Moombadon pack that I bought. It's called Muted Lead. All right, 
The next part is a lot of percussion as well as supporting instruments. I have a sample tank instrument here that's pretty much playing some chords. So let's see what that sounds like. Now you can see that there's a there's a note here that has a high velocity that's kind of giving the push and the groove to the song. Again, this is following the same chords that I played up here and that's F sharp minor, D, B minor, and D right here. And then we have another pad right here, which is again following the chords. Now let's play all of that together right here. Also the song is driven by a lot of percussion, so here as usual, I have a bunch of different drum samples that I'm playing in a pattern. And let's see what that pattern sounds like by itself. It's really just giving that push to the whole groove and when you put all of that together, it sounds like this. have the exhaust that also pushes the track forward very low volume on that and when we get here I muted some parts and also I have a riser a wind part and another riser that goes in to the basically main hook part so let's see what that sounds like and then we'll break it apart even more So as soon as it comes here, you see that a lot of things are going on. I'm adding this percussion sound again, just to carry the rhythm forward. And when you layer that up, now I'm introducing the kick that we heard earlier. And then I also have another 808 sounds right here. So let's listen to that. Now, as you can see, the, the drum sounds that I used before, I do have a bit of EQ control right here. I have a bit of dip so the 808 can cut through as well as for this other clank sound, I call it. I have Cashmere Essentials plugin. If you guys want to buy this plugin, I highly recommend it. Again, for the 808, same thing. I am using Pro Q3 where it's controlling a little bit of the low end and it's really just bringing it up and down kind of like a multi-band EQ. And on top of that, I also have track spacer, which basically side chains it to the kick and lowers the sound of this when the kick is cutting through. I also am adding a bit of L2 Ultra Maximizer. Now the trick here is if you kind of bring up the release and bring the threshold down a little bit, it makes the 808 cut through a lot. So let's play this and let's see what happens when you enable and disable this. So you can see as soon as I engage the plugin, there's a bit of a punch and a bite to the 808. And then also again, another EQ at the end to control and fix up some frequencies. And I'm cutting the high end out of the EQ. The next part is an ARP that sounds like this. The next part is a bit of percussion and hi-hats. And the one after that is also just some shakers. All right. So when you put all of that together, it sounds like this. So as you can tell, you don't need a lot of instruments. You just need a few select ones that are processed properly to get that sound. And like I mentioned, the rest of the track is basically rinse and repeat. So that was Making of Megusa by Cardi B and Anita in Studio 1.5. If you have any questions, leave them below, whether it's about the instrumental, the plugins I use, the presets, Studio 1, 
Logic Pro, leave them below. I'll get to as many as I can. Also, if you want to grab the template that's available on my site, it's all stock plugins and samples in Logic Pro X. Also, I have a free reggaeton kit on my site. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like the content, share it. Leave a question below. Let's start a conversation. Make some good music and I'll see you at the next one.